Hi guys, well, this was supposed to come out yesterday, but it didn't. Um, basically, when I was going to record it, my aunt ended up coming to say bye to us for our travels, obviously, um, because we're going to be away for a month. But I think she's going to join us here in a couple weeks, uh, maybe like two weeks or something like that, because, I don't know, we're at her house, I think. We, um, my aunt is the one I'm referring to as my mom's younger sister. She's 10 years younger than my mom and 10 years older than me. So that's really fun. She's right in the middle. Um, so my mom's 20 years older than me and my aunt is 10. And I'm 20 years younger than my mom and 10 younger than my aunt. It's like 10, 10. Um, so that's fun. <clears throat> what am I? Okay. So this is my past two. Like I said, was supposed to come out yesterday, but then I got distracted. Um, the flight. Let's talk about the flight. The flight was actually not too bad. I mean, obviously with Corona and stuff, like it, w there we had to wear a mask the whole time, and um, my hands were a bit red at the end of the day because we sanitized so much. Um, but overall, I think that was one of the better experiences with traveling. Um, and we we arrived, we landed at around one thirty a.m. Um, we got through immigration at 145 to 150 so that was also pretty fast compared to most times and we got all our bags by 215 so like 30 minutes off the bat uh and we had 11 pieces of luggage uh two one of them was golf sticks for one of my dad's friends so golf clubs, one of them was wallpaper, four of them were boxes carrying ingredients from my dad's cafe, and then the rest were like our stuff and clothes and whatever. So like five stuff for us, like one suitcase per person, and then yeah, so a lot of luggage. Um, anyways, let's get on to my past two. Oh, and the picture is taken on my grandma's driveway, and the one at the end of the video is as well, so I'll just talk about that later. My past part two. Why does Mari have so many degrees? Asked Alia. The class read out each degree. Bachelors in marketing, chemistry, arts, maths, languages, history, law. Masters in language, math, law, marketing, arts. And PhD in language, math, law, marketing, and arts. When did she get the time to get all of this? And who the heck was that guy she was over the moon to see? Adrian said. The class looked at the comments from the professors. Meanwhile, Marinette was with her old friend Riker in the park. How have you been, Angel? And where are we even going? He asked. Okay. I, okay, I guess. Uh, Lila is still a pain. We are going to find Andre. He's the local ice cream guy. He's super nice and his ice cream is the best. We have to find him like a game. Every day he's somewhere different and his ice cream is free if you can find him. She explained. We will talk more about this Lila character later. For now, ice cream. The class finished their lessons and quickly rushed to find Marinette. Marinette! They heard Alia's voice. Leave me alone. I'm not your friend, remember? Marinette remembered the moment when her class told her that they either befriended Lila or they could not be friends. Marinette chose to end her friendships that day. How did you get so many degrees? How many languages did you speak? In, how many languages did you speak in class? I need answers, girl. Need answers. So what? Girl, Alia said. She acted like nothing had happened. First of all, I am not your girl. Second, when you guys dumped me like I was nothing, I had a lot of time. Languages. I'm fluent in nine in the middle of of three more. Now, if you excuse me, I'm catching up with my real friend. Marinette turned and started leaving. What? I am. I was your best friend for years. Why won't you tell me more? You've changed, Marinette, Holly stated. But that was another lie. One, you have... I have not changed. This is how I was. Two, you were never my best friend. That title always belonged to Riker. Always has. And always will. Ali looked in confusion. Marinette was not like this. Nina was hit with a sudden flashback. He remembered how closed off she was. 
she remem- he remembered when Marinette was first adopted, ten years prior. She knew little French. She was closed off. She was defensive. She was not giving out trust easily. She was closed. Then after one summer, one year before Ali arrived, she changed. She trusted them. They celebrated the hard-earned trust. She became nice. She still never talked about her past, though. Alia, stop it, Nino said. Alia opened her mouth to speak again. Marinette was relieved that someone finally spoke up. What? What? Why would I stop? I want answers. Marinette has never acted like this before, she exclaimed. But she has. When she was adopted, Marinette never told you, did she? Nino asked. You're adopted? I thought you were the daughter of Tom and Sabine. A moment of silence passed. I don't think Marinette will talk much longer, so I'm just going to say it. Ten years ago, Marinette moved to France with her newly adopted parents. She did not know any French. I was surprised when eight months later she was good enough to survive a day without English. By the one-year mark, she was fluent. Marinette used to be closed off. She used to not trust anyone. She never spoke to us. She never interacted with us. She never talked about her past. Then one summer, it all changed. She came back. She was happy. She was smiling. We all celebrated that we had won her trust. The only thing that did not change was her not telling us about her past. We assumed that's why she had such large trust issues. We were so happy to win her trust, but we lost it, didn't we? Nina looked at Marinette. Yeah, you did. You all did. I did not mind when you all were all being friends with Lila. I did mind when you gave... When you invited me somewhere and then Lila convinced you not to go. I did mind when you turned your back on me. I did mind when you never fact-checked the thing. So yeah, you broke my trust. You will not get it back this time. I made a mistake in the first place. She turned to Riker. Riker, you can go. Just one thing. What happened before you moved here? Mylene asked. I was born in Italy. When I was four, I trusted some people. They killed my parents a year later. I lived on the street for six months. Riker became my friend and invited me to stay in his manor. It was big and I always got lost. Later, I found out that my original parents were high-tier assassins. They were spies. They were leaders of an extensive group of people like them. I normally wouldn't tell anyone, but there are seven assassins in the area watching my every move. Say anything and you won't be able to walk again. Now, I'm going to move back to Italy and build the league again, and I'll have Riker by my side. She turned back to her best friend. Forever and always was his only reply. So they left. They left school. They left Paris. They left Lila. They started over. They started the league. They started something more than a friendship. They started dating. They led the league side by side. They never, her friends never spoke a word. They saw some snipers aiming at them and assumed that that was Marinette's league. They regretted betraying her. They finally fact-checked cameras. They finally fact-checked cameras and fact-checked everything. They finally found out that Lila was a liar. Lila, as they now called her, made them turn against Marinette. She was the one telling the truth. And that is where we're going to end it here today. Um, so this is this room where I'm filming right now is the room where I actually started the channel and I used to film. Um, since then, I started filming in my home, but this is my grandparents' home. And I've just moved to a different sofa, the sofa that I used to record on. Uh, I was on the bed a second ago, but the room is split into two, so there's, like, a living room type of space, and then there's bedroom type of space. Yeah, so, um, back to that. This photo and the photo at the beginning were taken at this house. Um, basically, my grandma is a very big fan of flowers and gardening. She doesn't do it herself. She, like, gets gardeners and whatever, but, um, like, the flowers here are beautiful always. This is the driveway. The driveway is really big, actually, uh, and it is, the sides are covered in these 
pots of flowers. Um, so, you know, you'll have like a couple cars and then on the side there'll be flowers on each side. Um, so it's, re- it's really pretty. Uh, yeah, and these are some of the flowers and so were the ones at the beginning. Uh, these were taken a couple winters or summers ago. Now the plants have changed to these yellow and orange ones that are really pretty. So I think I'm going to take, some, I'll go outside and take a couple photos today. Um, like I usually do. And if I get any good ones, I'll put them in next video. And there will be a second video today or a second video tomorrow. But I need to make up for one video because this was supposed to come out yesterday. And the other video was supposed to come out before that or something like that. Um... So, yeah, my schedule is kind of messed up, so I need to post one more today. And, um, sorry this is so late and whatever for some of you. It's just because the time difference. So, I'll, the next video will be posted around the n- regular time I post. Uh, and I'll start posting then as well. But I wanted to get this out by morning. Um, my time morning. Because right now it's what, like 10, 11 a.m., 11, 11.30 maybe something like that um so yeah i will see you all in a couple hours and i really hope you enjoyed this thing there might be another part where it just goes into like marinette meets them again and she's like you know big and whatever and i hope you like this style of marinette because i think it's kind of cool because marinette's normally so sweet and easy to take advantage of and this is kind of her being better than that and yeah it's really different so i hope you enjoyed it um yeah and i'll see you in a couple hours bye